will do a reach out to community radio soon we to do. talk about one of the last stories we did for the year, which was the senior stories, volume eight. Volume eight, senior yeah. stories, Department of Communities and Justice, yeah. um, was finished. It was like one of those screaming, you know, sliding to last base <laughs> right at the last minute. Um, and everything was done, 120 stories. Made the deadline. Made the deadline. <laughs> 12 of those stories in 11 languages. Uh, 14 narrators um, and all uploaded yeah. um, onto the website for Department of Community and Justice. And I would like to talk about that little journey because yeah. I know when we first started talking with, you know, the project manager at DCJ, they really wanted this year for the book to go up on Audible, mm. for instance, and other platforms so that it could be easily accessible. It's not, it's not easy to access stories and audio off a person's web, off a company's website. And I think they were receiving just a little bit of, you know, can we make this available more widely? Um, and we came across some interesting problems, didn't we? Yeah, well, you know, when you face a bureaucracy with the rules of a very large institution, like Audible, <laughs> sometimes don't marry up as well as you'd hope they will well, even though intentions are good on both sides well th there was no clash there was just a kind of dissonance of missions yeah so making it sound way more complicated than it is but the issue is this a, a government department wants that book to be made available for free um Sounds nice. It sounds nice. Right. It sounds simple. <laughs> You'd think that was simple. Is it possible? No, not on any of the book, audio book sales platforms throughout mm. the world. And we did, we, I reached out, like if anyone's listening to this and says, oh, she's crazy, she hasn't sought this, tell me, contact me, because I want to know. Uh, we did as much research as possible. No sales platform will upload a book onto their vehicle for free. And I can understand that. If you've ever had an audible book, that is a very sophisticated piece of machinery. Yeah. And it makes it very easy to navigate an audio book. Um, so that makes it uh, hard for them to, to sell a book for free because all they're uploading it for, they don't charge for the upload, they charge royalties. So if there's no price, there's no royalty. Yeah. So they're, then they have to offer it for free. Mm -hmm. Their services for free. And I would imagine that would be a door they don't want to open. It's just not, doesn't fit into their model at all. So we we're left with that quandary. Yeah. I wonder if in the future there'll be a, there'll be an option to just pay them a one-off establishment fee for free books. That would be amazing yeah. because I think there are organisations and people who don't want to make money out of their book. It's more important that the book is disseminated yeah. uh, and, and you know, reaches people that they want to reach. And there are all sorts of reasons for that. It could be family history, for instance. Yeah. And you want, you know, what if you were the MacArthur family here in Australia, you'd have hundreds and thousands of people around the world, mm -hmm. you know, who would be interested and who are part of that family clan and you know having the book just available a history book of the family would um would be great and government departments you know they uh have the mission of for instance with senior stories preserving elders stories mm. giving them a space to be able to express things about the australian community yeah a, mm. a platform when otherwise often you know, a voice might be silenced or pushed yeah. to the side for, you know, emerging voices. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful project mm. um, and it's now volume eight. It's its eighth year, the third time that it was audio booked, the third time I've managed that audio book. Um, and I was really hoping this year we'd be able to um, be able to disseminate it more widely. And we did go through a process that I'll just describe because we, we were trying to be creative uh, about how can we, is there a way of putting this up for free, say, for, free for the listener, 
uh, via YouTube or Spotify. So we've gone down that track. We've examined both those mm -hmm. possibilities. They are possible. They're totally possible. It's expensive, but that's only because of labour costs. So if a government department, for instance, has got a communications manager, it does need to have a, its own specific website, um, you know, for the audio book itself. So there are a few startup costs, and then there's the kind of labour costs of uploading each chapter as if it's an episode. Mm. And so that's a really elegant way of, of creating a book uh, using those channels. Um, however, it, it does co then cost a hell of a lot more. So, yeah, mm. it's a, it's a, it was an interesting process to, to go through.